Now, South Africa's weather service has sounded the alarm about an upcoming heat wave set to scorch several parts of the country. The weather service says temperatures in parts of Gauteng, the northwest Free State and Eastern Cape are expected to, speak, to peak as high as 35 degrees with persistent high temperatures expected to last until Friday. The weather service is advising people to stay hydrated, limit outdoor activities and never leave children or pets in vehicles. Now joining us to discuss more on this is Lehi Honolo Tobella. Good morning and thank you for joining us, Mr. Tobella. Good morning and thanks for having me. All right, so now what can you tell us about the expected heat wave in South Africa and how accurate are the current weather models in predicting the intensity and also the duration? They're quite good. I think um, as we speak right now, we're looking at um, warmer temperatures for the next coming three days, starting from today, mainly over the southern parts of the Gauteng province, the north, e the eastern parts of the northwest as well as Free State, and not excluding the Oartambo district of the Eastern Cape province. So the maximum temperatures are expected to reach um, average of above the um, maximum temperatures, which would result in a heat wave condition. This is expected to to last for the next three days as we have uh, a high pressure system dominating over the areas which then results in a lot of uh, sinking air and dry conditions as the air sinks then warms the temperatures and much more of the temperatures are expected to keep warming up in the next three days so models start suggesting the maximum temperatures as you've mentioned to reaching about 33 and above degrees celsius reaching up to 35 depending on the where people are yes we are still expecting much more of the heat wave to persist for the next coming three days. All right, Mr. Tobella. Now, how does this heat wave compare to previous ones experienced in South Africa? Which specific regions or cities uh, will be more severely affected by this heat wave? So in our speaking about the severity of it, it's the first of this uh, this season that we've had. And I think it's the first time then we're having it this year in terms of the El Nino as the seasonal forecast has suggested that El Nino and drier conditions are expected. And with El Nino, we expect cut these type of conditions where we have much more of the heat and less rainfall but more of heat waves than are prone with um, some areas when they have strong winds then result in some felt fires as the conditions are dry. So in terms of it happening for the week, yes, we're still expecting it to be like this, but in, in comparison with how it has been in the past, um, it's it hasn't been any of difference in terms of how it happens. It's just a matter of it's the first of the season and we are yet to experience much more of the heat waves as the season progresses. All right. Now, are there any potential health risks, uh, you know, associated with prolonged exposure to extreme heat? Now, aside, you know, uh, staying hydrated and uh, staying indoors, what other precautionary measures or actions should people take to stay safe during this heat wave? A lot a person can do, eh? I mean, especially if a person suffers from like things like um, uh, stroke and other things that result in a lot, an, an excessive amount of heat. Firstly, it's to definitely wear light clothes. Um, make sure that you drink water, as you've mentioned, the hydration. Keep away from the sun. And if you are having eyesight problems, make sure that you don't expose yourself to too much sunlight as that might also cause some dizziness and temper with your vision. Also then much more of it is to make sure that you are um, having sunscreen should you go outside the, the house and much more of it is to keep away from the sun when you're out for your daily activities. All right, well, thank you so much uh, for giving us insight on this particular topic, uh, Mr. Lehi Honolo Tobella. We appreciate you for your time. Thank you for having me.